I was laying on my bed. Actually, it was a prison bunk. I was no longer Jalashawn Wilson, but inmate number 116445. I had served like eight years flat at that time, and I had already dealt with the disgust and regret of my actions and lack of. I was in a place of peace, stability, strength, direction, and closeness to the God within. I was laying there fantasizing about my future, a future filled with freedom, home-cooked food, beautiful smells, and reaching the people that are hurting. I was filled with so much purpose. It was overwhelming, but soothing at the same time. Then God spoke to my heart, and I felt my soul shift higher. God told me to begin where I was and start teaching the brothers around me about self, him within, and how to adjust their thinking to alter their focus. I began writing from my wisdom that God had gave me through my experiences, through my trials and tribulations, and paying packs of cigarettes, which was prison currency at that time, to get these papers typed and make copies of my writings. And I began to teach others how to modify the spirit of their swag. I helped thousands to see that life offered more than the restricted areas they had felt forced to live a limited behavior inside. I gave them new words every day. I pushed hope and smiles into the concrete faces of those labeled hopeless. I don't say this being egotistical in any attempts to brag, but I say, I say it to acknowledge that God is real. I say it to overemphasize that without God, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have made it out of there. I say it to push you to a higher level of your greatness. The same God that protected and served me is not a racist police officer that acts off toxic, emo toxic emotions and stereotypes. This God I speak of doesn't criminalize you, but liberates you to live fully in your divine purpose. I tell you this to convince you, you, to walk in your light, for there are brighter days ahead. Breathe. Breathe different. Believe different.